Okay, now part 2b where I'm going to show you one, something I forgot to do in the last tutorial, and then how to create the actual eye effect that we're going to transition into. And then part three, I'm going to do final, finish up, put the reflections in the eye over the top of our effect, and do some final color grading on the image to really sell it, make it look good. But first, let's fix this because I forgot a couple things. We are also going to need to this effect a bitmap. And now why do I need a bitmap? This is already a mask. The bitmap will add a blur around the edges to that whole thing without affecting this effect. So that now compositing will be a bit easier since this edge can be blurry without screwing up our transition. Okay. Now on to actually creating this effect. And I'm already late immediately after making a new schedule. It's awesome. So let's get started. Maybe I won't be late next time, but track record isn't great so far. The first thing we need is a background node. And we're going to turn this a sort of gray color. And then we're going to need two transform nodes. You can add one, control C, control V. We're going to plug both of those into a merge. It doesn't really matter which is the foreground and which is the background, but they're both going to be plugged into this map control node. And each of them we're going to connect to both the left eye track path and the right eye track path. And then we're also going to turn down the size of each of them. We'll adjust this more finely later after we composite it on top of our footage. And I'm going to group these again just for organization. I'm going to name it Mask combine. And also, one of these I'm going to rotate like a random number of degrees just so that they don't look exactly the same. So now we have that. All right, and I'm going to move all this forward. All right, now that we have our bracket background background node in and connected to our mask. Let me just add in another one of these. I'm going to hold shift and do that. Just so I have a mask input over here for organization's sake. Now I'm going to add in a merge. And this merge node is going to be between the marble and the gray background. I'm going to turn the blend on the merge to 0.5, and I'm going to connect the center to the right eye position, because this will be for the right eye. I'm also going to connect the mask to that input. All right. And then with the marble, I'm going to add in a blur and a transform node. And with that transform node, I'm going to give the marble texture and offset. Because since we connected it to that eye down here, it will move with our track. But this transform is to give it an offset so that we can rotate it and scale it without having to change keyframes and do a bunch of headachey nonsense over there. Like I did in the first one. All right, and just find a place that looks good. Looks kind of interesting. All right. And you're going to add in another merge. Plug that in there. And another transform. And again, we're going to connect this one to the left eye. And then we're going to add in a transform. Connect it there. Connect it there there and view that node. 
also connecting that in to our mask maybe if it will connect there all right and now again we do the same thing we're going to scale it down and these do overlap so just make sure they're not touching each other oh yeah blend to 0.5 Alright, that looks pretty cool. And then we're going to add in another merge, and we're going to put this right on top of our footage. So this, the green one, will be the foreground connector, which will be our eye effect, and the orange one is the background connector, which will be our footage. So now we have that. And if they aren't scaled properly, go over here to your eye mask, and you can scale them up and down until they look like they should. All right, and it should be tracked and everything. So at this point, you should have something like this. And you may have noticed that when I blinked, the effect started. So I want my effect to start a little later. So I'm going to select everything but this mask combine. Come over here to timeline, everything selected. Selected everything and move it forward to frame 20. So now our eye mask doesn't start animating until frame 20. And there we go. And it consumes the eye. I also want to add in a color corrector just so that we can do things like turn up the contrast, turn down the saturation, you know, mess with it. How you like? Why is that affecting this? Uh, it's turning up the contrast of the image, including the alpha. So the alpha will go away. Yep, I forgot about that. So I'm going to connect this mask. Add in another one of these things. Oop. Connect this mask up to it so that it's only affecting those eyes. Then we can turn down the contrast and mess with the gain to help add it into our footage. All right, and that is pretty much how you create the eye effect. And you can add other effects into this by copying these nodes, Control-C, Control-V, and then just dragging the merges, holding Shift and dragging the merges down here, and then reconnecting them to the transforms. Uh, you don't really have to copy the blur, but let's say I wanted to add in another image. I don't have one, so I'm just going to add in some noise, some fast noise. I'm going to plug both of those into the transform. And with the noise, I'm going to turn the detail up, turn the contrast up, turn the brightness down, turn the scale up to... Eh, it's too big. Something like that. And plug these into the masks. So that now we have that. And I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add in the reflections and do a quick final color grade inside of Fusion to make your effect look really good. But until next time, go make something awesome.